God bless you, I'm Prophet Willie Townsend, uh, along with my wife and co-pastor, Prophet Tisdenese Townsend, uh, and we are the pastors of the Word Evangelistic Church located at 10501 South Avenue J in Chicago, Illinois, where our Sunday morning services start at 12.30 p.m. and our Wednesday and Friday Bible classes start at 8 o'clock p.m. If you need free pickup for any of our church services, give us a call and we can pick you up for any of our church services for no charge. Also, our prayer lines are now open. We have live prayer warriors available that take your call for prayer. Give us a call if you need prayer. Also, I encourage you to write me. Send all letters to the Word Evangelistic Church located at 10501 South Avenue J in Chicago, Illinois, where our zip code is 60617. You can get all of our Wednesday mm -hmm. and Friday Bible classes by going to YouTube every Wednesday and Friday at 8 o'clock p.m. and our Sunday telecast every Sunday at 2 o'clock p.m. Amen. All right, now into the Word of God. In the book of St. Luke, the 12th chapter and the 15th verse. There's St. Luke 12 and 15. And Jesus said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness. You got the message now. All right, all right. That's the message, baby. Beware of it. That spirit changes you. That spirit stop you from doing for God. That spirit have you doing everything for yourself and not for God. This is why Jesus said, take heed, be careful, and beware of covetousness. For a man's life consisted not in the abundance of the things which he possesses. Our lesson this morning will be that one word, covetousness. All right, all right, go ahead, teacher. Covetousness. I'm not saying you have the spirit. I'm not saying you don't have it. All right. But what I am saying, beware of this spirit. All right. Jesus also telling us to beware of the spirit of covetousness. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Why? Because this spirit of covetousness, uh -huh. it does damage to the inner man. All right, it does. It does. You see what I'm yeah. talking about? Oh, yeah. Take your time, Even though here, uh -huh. This spirit look harmless. Yeah, yeah. It don't look as bad as adultery. All right, go ahead. But if you notice him, and we'll read a little later, that Paul put covetousness and adultery in the same category that neither one would enter into the kingdom of God. We'll bring that, we'll break the scripture down All right. Go ahead, a little later. Mm -hmm. This spirit of covetousness, uh -huh. it can cause you to become selfish. Oh, yeah. yes, okay. yeah. And only have you to think about yourself yes, 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 yes. and not others. All right, you're right about it. It can have you become selfish Go ahead. and think about yourself. Uh -huh. All right. And not the things okay. of God. That is so true to you. Right about it. This spirit uh -huh. of covetousness uh -huh. can cause you to steal. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You see that? 
The spirit of covetousness can cause you to lie to get things for the love of money. It's the root of all evil. All right, that's the word. That's the word, teacher. Paul said, what it say? while some covet after, yes. they erred from the faith. Yes. That's what the word said, baby. All right, that's the word, teacher. You're right about it. This spirit uh -huh. of convectiousness, it can cause you to lose the love. Yes. That you have toward God. All right, that is so this spirit mm -hmm. of convectiousness is destroys a man from within. All right, go ahead and I'll break it down. This spirit of convectiousness uh -huh. brings other spirits. All right, it does. It does. Okay, cool. Other spirits of selfishness. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, teacher. Other spirits of lying. Yes. Of the spirits of stealing. All right, that's true, that's true. Ooh. All right, now. You see what I'm talking about? Yes, Go ahead, teacher. This is why here uh -huh. mm. that many of us doesn't pay tithes All right. because of the spirit of okay. convectiousness yes, you're right about it. that we have within us. All right. Now, if you notice this, uh -huh. People will pay their mortgage, not their tithes. All right. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. People will buy them a new outfit, a new dress, a new suit, but will not pay their tithes. All right, that is so. That is so. Keep right about it. Go ahead. Yeah. That's because of the spirit of convictiousness. That's in them. Yes, yes, you're right about it. This spirit uh -huh. of convictiousness only thinks about their responsibility and not God's responsibility. All right, that is so, teacher. Go ahead. This is why the Bible says him that all seek their own uh -huh. and not the things of God. Well, when you got this spirit Go of convictiousness, this is how it works. Hold it, baby. Oh. That's how it works. It works in your favor, not God. You see what I'm talking about? This is how this spirit of conventionness works. It thinks about yours, not God's. Hold it here, baby. Are we going to heaven? If you got this spirit, you will not see God. I know you're right. Go ahead now. I'll let the word bring it down. Before we talking about going to heaven, yes. we got to make sure yes. that we don't have in us what the Bible yes. is saying right. that will keep a man out of the kingdom of God. You see what I'm talking about? This is how uh -huh. The spirit of convictiveness works. Go ahead, tell it. It works in your faith. All right, it does. Yes, it does. Not God. All right, go ahead. You see what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. Amen. As long as you got this spirit uh -huh. of convictiveness in you, you cannot please God. All right, you're right about it. No, you can't. You're right. Now, let me say this here. Ahead, According to the Bible, mm -hmm. I will get to that script in a little. If you got this spirit in you, yes. you will not enter yes. into the kingdom of God. All right, say it. Because that spirit 
shows you don't have love for God. Yeah, right, yeah, it does, and it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. That spirit shows. Yes, yes. God is not number one in your life. You'll see what I'm talking about. Go ahead now. This is why here yes, God. that we cannot please God uh-huh. with this conventionalist spirit. All right, say that. Prophet, how does I know if I have this conventionalist spirit? Go ahead, teacher. How you can know through your works. That's it. Better tell him right there. Yes, it. Yes, it is. Better tell him. You see what I'm talking about? Go ahead now. See how you contributing to God and then contributing to yourself. All right, better tell it now. Hold it, baby. See how you going against the word of God. Going against the things of God just to please yourself. That's what I'm saying, baby. Go, oh, Pastor, you cannot please God being selfish. No, not at all. That's not love. No, no, Go ahead now. You cannot please God only thinking about yourself not at all, and not the need of others right, or right. the needs of God. Yeah, that's true. That is so true. Go ahead now. You're right about it. Amen. My God. Yes. Do you see what I'm talking about? I do that too, child. We. As Christians have to beware oh, yeah. Yeah. of this spirit. Yeah. That's why the Bible said, love not the world. Yeah. Nor the thing that's in the world, because the world uh-huh. and the thing that's in the world can bring a convention spirit in you. Right. You see what I'm talking about? You think you're good now? You're breaking it down. This is why here uh-huh. you got so many Go that saying that they are saved. All right. Look at their works. Yeah, yeah, better tell them. Hey, Amen. They cannot support the things of God yeah. because they got a convention spirit yeah, in yeah. them. That's what that is, teacher. They cannot do right mm-hmm. with their money. Yeah, yeah. Because they got a convention spirit in them to where they are lusting after money. All right now. You see what I'm talking about? Okay. We as Christians cannot be greedy toward money. All right, not at all. I understand we need money. Amen. But we not to be greeted toward money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be conventious over something I need. All right, not at all. No, I'm not. You see what I'm talking about? Yes, I do, my sister. Go ahead now. I'm not going to go against the word of God yes, yes. over something that I need. Yeah, all right, you're right about it. A lot of people saying that they going to heaven. Go ahead. But when God Judge their heart. Judge the head man. Yes, yes. I'll find out, teacher. And see why they didn't do what they was instructed to do because of convictiousness. All right, now. All right, yeah, yeah. They're going to be looking to you. You're right about it, teacher. My God. Go, Pastor, we cannot covet money. No, no, not at all. Even though we need it. All right, say it. We got to be careful that what we need, that we don't covet after. All right, well said. That's true. That is so true. We got to make for sure that what we need, we don't break the laws of God to get it. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, God, I know you're right. I know you're right. You gotta be aware of that. Go ahead now. And you don't break the laws of God to try to keep it. No. You see what I'm talking about? You're right about it, teacher. 
Go ahead now. Probably what does you mean by breaking the laws of God to keep it? There's a time for all of us to do right. Yes. Show God we don't covet after money nor the things of this world. And if I support the things of God, All right. that's showing God I'm not coveting after these things. That is so true. That's what it will show. God see you bought a new suit. All right. You bought a new dress, but not the telecast. I believe all of these are recorded. Yes, it's going to show God you got a spirit of consciousness of thinking about yourself and not the things of God. This is why, co-pastor, we cannot cover half the money because we won't do right with it. All right, that's true. Go ahead, teacher. If you covet money, uh -huh. you will put money before God. Yes, yes. You will put money before the word of God. All right, now, go ahead, teacher. You will put money before soul. Yes, yes. That's true, That's true teacher. Yeah. All right. Oh also here, uh -huh. we must not cover this world. No, not at all. That's why the Bible said, love not the world. Neither the thing that's in the world. All that's in the world is the lust of the flesh. Yes. It's, it's only going to please you, not God. Well said, well said. That's true. Only you, yeah. Not the thing of God. Not God. Oh, Pastor, if I'm only looking out for my benefit, mm -hmm. for me. Yeah, yeah. And not the things of God. All right. It's showing God here Go ahead. that I have a confession of spirit mm -hmm. within me. All right. That is so true. And I hold it. And I'm telling people yeah. I'm going to heaven All right, now. with this confessionist spirit in me. Not so true. Nor you not so will true. not. All right. Say that. Not at all. Not at all. I know you lie. Yeah. I get it later, but Paul said, be not deceived. He said, neither fornicator, nor liar. He said, nor covetousness will enter into the kingdom of God. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I know you're right. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. Also, the Bible said, what is it? whosoever covered this world, all right. I love this world. Go ahead. It's not the friend of God. All right, that's what it said. Now that's the word. Yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not. You see what I'm talking about? We have to show God through our works. Yes, God. That God, I love you more than this than the things of this world. All right, we got to show that. God, I love you more than money. God, yes, yes. I love you more than this pretty dress. All right, now, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, you're right about it. Oh, yes, I know you're you right. see what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. Money is in the world. Yes. Money is man-made. It is that. Not God-made. Uh -huh. All right, now, go ahead, Jesus. Right. Money you. is in the world. Yes, sir. The Bible said, love not the world, neither the thing that's in the world. The reason why many people cannot do right with their money because they love money more than God. They love the world more than they love God. They love themselves more than they love God. Look at their works, baby. You see that? Oh my God, yeah, you're right about it. Go ahead, teacher. Go ahead, take it down now. Jesus said, what is that? no man can enter into the kingdom of heaven except he forsake all. Oh, yes, yes, you're 
You're right about it. That's what the word says. You see what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. Let me explain something to you here, honey. Go ahead, you got many peoples may not be in lust toward people. They might be in lust toward money. All right. Go ahead now. They may not be in lust toward a man or a woman. They might be in lust toward the things of this world. You see that? Hold it, baby. Didn't you know that covetousness is nothing but lust? It's another form of lust. You don't go to bed with it, you spin it. Still lust, baby. Hold it, baby. What did the Bible say? We must not lust after evil things. That's what the word says. Now, then the Bible said money is the root of all evil. Yes, it did say that. That's the word. Yeah, yeah. He said, for many covered after it. They have erred from the faith that took them away from God. All right, that's it. You're right about it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, teacher. I'm not saying. We don't need it. No, you didn't say that. We work to get the money. Yeah, yeah. We work to pay our bills. Yeah. But we got to know where to put the brakes in. We got to know what not to put before God, All though. Right, well, Hold well, it. Yeah. We got to know how to do right when we get it. All right, that's it. Bottom line. Hey, bottom line. You see what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. You tell me the truth, it's nothing wrong with money. No. It's how we use it. That's what makes it wrong. All right, yeah, yeah. That's it. Money is not evil. It's when we put our evil works with it. Not doing what's right with it. Putting it before God. I mean, you could take, for instance, it's nothing wrong with me getting married. No. But I could use the marriage for evil if I put my wife before God. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm talking about? Didn't you know that covetousness is nothing but lust? Lust come from covetousness. Many things we need in this world to survive. But just because we need the thing to survive, I can't allow it to tempt me with God. Not at all. No, 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 no. Go, Pastor, just because yes, yes. I need it to survive. Mm -hmm. I got to make sure it don't keep me out of the kingdom of That's God. It. That's it. That's the main thing. I cannot. I got to make sure. That it don't give me, yeah. that it give, don't give me relief on earth. Because it might give me relief on earth, but torment in hell. All right, say that. I like that. You see what I'm talking about. Okay, we don't do right with it. Okay, you got a relief now. You got a relief. Hey, man, your bills pay good. Uh-huh. But you didn't do right toward God. And what you got to understand, this earth is temporarily. Hell is eternity. You see what I'm talking about? Now I'm going to tell you what I would do. Go ahead, tell it. I would put the things of God first. Whatever I got left. I would do what Jesus did. I hold up the two loaves of bread and three fishes, baby. Lord, work in my favor. I worked in your favor. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Put God 
first, yes. We got to beware um, of this spirit of convetiousness. Why? Because Satan is roaming around with this spirit to put it in you to commit sin. All right, say that now. If any man got this spirit of convetiousness in them, you sinning every time ties do. You are sinning every time the telecast do. You are, listen, didn't you know you can sin with what's yours? That is true. That is true, yes. You see what I'm talking about? If I don't do what's right with it, I can sin with what's mine. I mean, what about God? Israel gave God the lowest, the lame, the lamb, the crippled. God said, give it to your God. He said, hold it. He said, I'm a God. You give me your best. That's what we as Christians, we give God our best. He's the head, not the tail. He's Lord of lords and kings of kings, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Give him the best, baby. All right, God bless you. I'm, I'm Prophet Woolly Townsend. Along with my wife and co-pastor, I'm Prophet Tess Townsend. And we are the pastors of the Word Evangelistic Church located at 105 Hohwine South Avenue J in Chicago, Illinois, where our Sunday morning services start at 12.30 p.m. and our Wednesday and Friday Bible classes start at 8 o'clock p.m. If you need free pickup for any of our church services, give us a call and we can pick you up for any of our church services for no charge soon as our pickup resume. Also, our prayer lands are now open. We have live prayer warriors available that take your call for prayer. Give us a call if you need prayer. Also, I encourage you to write me Send all letters to the Word Evangelistic Church located at 10501 South Avenue J in Chicago, Illinois, where our zip code is 60617. Until tomorrow morning, I'm Prophet Willie Townsend, uh, along with my wife and co-pastor, Prophetess Denise Townsend, uh, and we are the pastors of the Word Evangelistic Church. Until then, may God bless you.